Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this, this is Dixie. Dixie and, and we're Love Hunt for Life. life. We've been on the road for almost 670 days now and have been finding some of the most gorgeous crystals, gemstones, and rocks that this nation has to offer. Now, I've been turning a whole bunch of those into some really beautiful jewelry that y'all can check out on Hatonian Jewelry and Gemstones on Facebook. This week, we have been hanging out in North Carolina and are going to give you our honest review of our nine hours spent at Emerald Hollow Mine. Make sure you leave us a comment below telling us your thoughts on the mine as well as any other places you really enjoy going rock hounding. Maybe we can check those out too. Alright guys, it is day 667 on the road and we are both really, really excited to be awake very early in the morning, which is a little weird for us, but we are excited because I just unloaded a whole bunch of rocks at our storage in Alabama and I did so under the agreement that we were going to go and find a whole lot more. So we're in North Carolina today and we're going to do a little gemstone hunting. We're going to Emerald Hollow. It's going to be great. There's I think 40 different varieties of minerals you can find there including emeralds and amethyst which are the two that we're really hoping to find. I want a sapphire too. It appears we have arrived at our destination. Emerald Hollow Mine. Oh, today's gonna be a good day! I'm sorry, puppy, you're not allowed. You have food, water, and two fans in your home. You're fine. You're fine. You'll be okay. So we had the pleasure of meeting one of the employees here, and here they're very educational. We mostly have had to piece together all the information we have over the our time rock counting. And two minutes she managed to put more information than that on us um what we're looking for are mica veins as well as quartz veins coming together and that's where we're going to find the pay dirt apparently let's see what happens the pay dirt. so guys this entire area is uh, apparently just littered with gemstones and we can't wait to see what we find We've gotten some really good instructions, and I think that combined with our prior rock hounding knowledge is going to do us well. Whoa. I'd say somebody's been doing some digging through here. That is a massive hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think our new little friend has helped us find uh, the perfect dig spot. This is definitely where we're starting out today. I'm feeling lucky. Amongst all these holes, I think I'm starting to find what I'm looking for. This appears to be a mica vein running either this way or this way. I can't tell. But this is our white chalky substance we're looking for that could have crystals and I'm seeing little sparkly. So let's see. But my glasses are fogging up so much. That's cool, I'll take over your hole. Yeah, well, hold on. Well y'all, we are about two hours in. We have moved a whole lot of dirt and those buckets are still pretty empty. We're not really finding anything of substance. Shane has moved from his hole over there and gone in search of a new place to dig uh, while I'm sitting still trying to work here because uh, just like what he found over there, I'm seeing all of the signs. This here is quartz and we're finding 
a lot of this laying around it. And that would suggest there should be some really, really beautiful stuff in this hole, but I'm just not coming across it yet. It'll come. Rock hounding is like fishing. You gotta have patience. Well, we moved on to a new hole. The clay is much redder and wetter over here. So I'm hoping that a different uh, type of sand will do something for us. You do have to be really careful when digging in these holes though, because sometimes they're someone's home. Hey little buddy. You're cute. Let's see what Kelsey's doing. It's a nice hole you got there. Is there anything in it? Every sign that everything that we know about rock hounding from all over the country told me that there would be a lot inside of this hole. There's mica everywhere. There's an obvious quartz vein here, but nothing, absolutely nothing. Not even a teeny tiny one? No. <laughs> Maybe we, you need to go deeper. We've never rock hounded for four hours straight without finding anything before. We've been unimpressed, but never skunked. I need some food and a fresh start. Let's go check on Dixie. Okay, let's roll. back to the house we did decide to come down to the creek where it looks like everyone is cooling off and maybe finding something more than we found today you find any treasure in there so rebel taught us that we should always look for a crack and remove the big rocks out of the way because uh, usually anything valuable is going to be heavy and it, it'll get caught in the So our thought process is that right up there is that giant hole where we know they took a bulldozer, so they had to have found something. And I assumed all of the tailings would have washed down. I think you assumed wrong. Hey, you don't know. There's a there's a whole pile of concentrate here, and there might be something else. That's true. I personally would rather be digging a hole to nowhere this? than doing this. I hope there's crystals up there on that mountain. Let's see. You can't be so negative until you know what's in here. That's nothing. Those are nothing. I see some quartz. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely signs that there's crystals up there. But uh, I'm not seeing anything impressive. You wanna go try to find some more? Let's go check on top of the pizza. Alright. Hi baby. Hi. Are you having a better day than us? Yeah. <laughs> you would really, really hate it out there, I promise. As for us, we're going to make some sandwiches and then go try our luck some more. Hmm, dig another hole. There's going to be crystals in this one. Mm -hmm. I had one of those. Look, it's already pre-dug for you. Yeah, maybe we'll have better luck here. It looks like they used a machine to get this one open. Oh yeah, no, that bulldozer was definitely over here. <laughs> but I am seeing some evidence of quartz in here. Which means 
Maybe we'll find a bunch of crystals. It's hammer time. Hammer time. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, guys. It's almost five, which means we have been at this. We got here at 830 this morning. Holy crap, we've been at this for almost nine hours now and have very, very little to show for it. That is a very, very sad bucket. I'm pretty sure all of those are just quartz rock. They're not even crystals. We're gonna wash it off before we leave, um, but I think it's about time for us to go and find a camping spot because we did hear that the campground we were banking on tonight is closed because it flooded not too long ago. So yeah, it's, it's time to cut our losses and go. Mm -hmm. Check out this big honking hole though. I mean, you can't say I didn't do anything today. <laughs> we obviously did not dig this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, it's quartz rock. <laughs> The best thing we found today. <laughs> what else we got here? Keeper pile. Mm. More quartz rock. More quartz rock. There's some quartz and some mica in it. Very rare. All of these are just quartz rock. Is that the end of it? That one's kind of clear. Still have to call that quartz rock. Yep. I would suggest going to a free dig site in Arkansas. This kind of blows. Don't put it in the bucket. We're not taking it out with us. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I think that that qualifies as the worst day of rock hounding ever. Pretty close. Now that doesn't mean that there aren't rocks to be found in this region or even in this particular mine, but I can say with some pretty good confidence that if the two of us came out here with shovels and buckets and dug for nine hours straight in multiple different holes. I will say when you come in, they like to advertise that you can find up to 60 types of minerals here which most of them are seeded in buckets. If you come out here and buy those buckets, you probably gonna have a good day. But what they don't tell you is there's very little of that up in the mine. There is a deep hole here that you are not allowed access to that might have something in it, I don't know. But the odds of you finding something with your little bucket and your little shovel, pretty low. But you'll find out for yourself. Or just go to a different mine and find something better. That's what I do. Don't waste your time here. Okay guys, we may have been a little bit fired up. It was a long day. But we are not in the business of talking bad about anyone on the internet. We didn't uh, have a good day at uh, Emerald Hollow Mine at all, but that doesn't mean that you won't. Really, if uh, you're looking for a place to take small children to learn how to sift through buckets and uh, identify small pieces of uh, many different minerals, this place is a great place to go. Almost all of the employees were really nice and helpful, and if you're just looking for a family outing, it's a great place. As far as serious rock hounds go, we've got a lot of better suggestions for you. I actually did have the pleasure of speaking with them gentleman John who owns the big hole in the middle of the property. John has been digging there for a while and has put out hundreds of videos on YouTube about everything he finds on that property. It's loaded 
with things. It's just hard to get to. He even admitted to me that, you know, he goes days without a significant fine, and that man's got bulldozers. So just be aware of that if you're going out there. You're probably not going to be able to dig down with your shovel and bucket and find something uh, impressive. Maybe with a couple of days and some big tools, you could find what you're looking for. Or you might get lucky and find it on the first hit. You never know. Such is the luck with rock, rock hounding. We've been fortunate and had some very good experiences out there. And I hope all of you have some good experiences. Make sure you leave us a comment below telling us about your favorite place to go rock hounding. And we'll see you all next time on this adventure. Yeah, guys, and be sure and check out all of our past videos and uh, our other social media accounts as well, such as Facebook and Instagram, to get an even more in-depth look into our rock hounding adventures and all of the other crazy adventures that we get into in this big yellow house. Peace out, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.